All right, let's 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 take a look at what we got this morning. Okay, again, how we want to do this, guys and gals, is the arrows are based upon, we've had a couple arrow entries. The last one's a, a nice one also. Uh, this came off of uh, this morning, the control point. Uh, is moving really nice off the control point here this morning off market profile. We've had positive market delta, and we've had an arrow for the entry. There's your entry, your last entry, just after 8 o'clock this morning. You can see positive market delta. These, the little market delta down here tells you an order imbalance in the market. So when you get an arrow, like we did over here, We've had three arrow long since around four o'clock this morning. It's been dead accurate this morning off the three. You can see that last was a nice full retracement <clears throat> for the upside. So we want to, when the arrow fires, we want to have market delta to confirm. We want to pause the market delta before we get into the trade. That's exactly what we have. Pause the market delta. Hey Steve. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, the symmetry dots are very effective in the market, but when you combine them with the arrows, it becomes even more effective. I appreciate that, Steve. So what we want to do is we want to look for what? The arrows give us our retracement level when it fires, when we need to get long or short these markets. The market delta gives us the order imbalance to pop in the market after the arrow fires. But let me go over the symmetry dots again. I want to show you this because you can really clean some house in some of these markets when they both combine. You can tell here on the we have a nine sim Rico, a five sim Rico, and a three sim Rico. The nine, I'm not concerned with the arrows on this chart. I just want to use it for trend direction. That's my main goal. I want to see if we are above the moving averages and for angled up. So obviously crude is in an uptrend off the nine sim Rico. You can see I use a nine. It clearly is a long term, a longer Rinko. But this is beautiful on trading the markets, on getting your trend right. So we are angled up. So what we want to do is I'm going to look for retracements off the five and the three, off the arrows to pop in, which we've had obviously some good moves, some arrows this morning. But look at these symmetry dots. I only like to put them off the five for support. I like to put them on a three to scale, but they're great launching points in the market. And let me show you why. The blue are buy areas where you want to look for arrows to fire off the five or three sim. Like I said, I'm not concerned about the nine, fi nine firing arrows. I know a lot of you trading the NASDAQ futures, they fire a lot, and they're very effective. Yesterday, it had five big arrows for really substantial moves. S&P did the same thing a couple days ago. but I'm not really worried or, or looking for arrows off the nine. That's just for trend. I want them to fire off the five and the three. So when I fire this last one off the three, it's at a full retracement off my longer term MA here at 84. So when it closes right there on more positive market delta, you want to open the position up, stop loss two ticks below the swing low, scale on your first push, try to go for the second set or third set of symmetry dots, which you have. Or off the three sim. That's how I like to use the symmetry off the three sim as a scale. But a five, I like to use it for support and resistance. So what you can do is you can use it for red for cells right here, red for cells and blue for buys. Now you can change your color to cyan and red like I have. You can see that's a big launching point in crude. Okay, so if I pull the NASDAQ futures up, we had a big blast off the NASDAQ futures this morning. Look how symmetry has, has exploded the NASDAQ futures for me. Look at symmetry dots here. This is NASDAQ right now. It's going on right now. Look at your NASDAQ right there and right here. Look how it blasted off symmetry dots. And this is off the five sim wrinkle this morning off of the NASDAQ futures. So it doesn't matter what market you're looking at. In fact, gold just had a nice trade-off symmetry here. Look how came down to symmetry here at 8 o'clock. Found support and blast off. Look at that gold trade. That's 07 .5 to 12 and a half. It's almost a $500 trade off of symmetry. So these symmetry dots work really well. 
Now, what I like to do, for example, on gold, if it closes outside of that re those red dots by body of the whole candle, not the high and the low, but the body, not the wicks, once it closes outside there, I'm going to look for three SIM trades because you're going to have a major possible explosion in the market to the upside because you broke through resistance. So what I'll do if I'm in a hard uptrend or downtrend, not only will I look to buy symmetry with arrows in market delta, I will also look to buy breakouts if it breaks above symmetry, and I'll look for three SIM trades that break above symmetry also. For example, let's look at crude again. On crude this morning, we actually broke through I'm sorry, here's the NASDAQ features. The NASDAQ, it broke through the red resistance, broke through the red resistance, and then it retraced to the what? It retraced to the symmetry dots. So if I look on, move this up so you guys can see. So if I'm a net seller in the NASDAQ futures, I want to sell symmetry here. I want to sell symmetry with arrows here. That was yesterday, uh, earlier uh, this morning. This morning, the NASDAQ futures have been 100% ever since midnight on the arrows with symmetry. It has not lost a trade yet. Sell there, and then you want to buy here. You're a buyer here. Symmetry, arrows, here. Here and here. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight for eight this morning off the NASDAQ futures. And this is a five sim going 30 days back. So you could use that to buy symmetry and sell symmetry with arrows. How accurate that is. Look how accurate the uh, method is. Now, these are just extra moving averages. This is a, we, we, I have an 8, 34, 89, and 200 on there just to see if we're in total uptrend or downtrend with the arrows. You can add those to the system if you want. But the NASDAQ is really trendy. Once it gets going in one direction, it likes to stay in one direction. So I like to look at retracements with overall trend direction. I like to be below all of them, all of them crossed down, all of them crossed up. Just something I like to look at with the NASDAQ futures. So, but if, if you look, you've got uh, all those were with symmetry dots, all those arrows. So they give you a leading indicator. So the next buy point in the NASDAQ futures will be 72.20. Okay? Yeah, and it shows you how, how they stair step up, stair step down. You can add those with great accuracy. And that's I just want to show you that this morning to make sure you understand that. So if I look over here on gold crude this morning, we're cranking up. Cranking up on crude. We actually broke through symmetry right here around 6 o'clock this morning. It closed above it at 66.65. So what you want to do is you want to buy retracements off the three. There's a retracement with the arrows. There's a retracement with the arrows. Look how the five came on support after it broke through symmetry. Look how three is cranking. It's a really neat way how to do it, how you want to trade off symmetry, and that will put you in a nice little position now. Yeah, gold's firing now at a symmetry also right now. You see how we came off symmetry here? Came off symmetry here. Now, do you have to have the arrow? No. Once you get used to it, you can just look for positive market delta if you're in a hard uptrend on the five and the three. Off of symmetry dots. You should see a spinning top or a doji for reversal. See, here's your spinning tops down here on symmetry. Spinning top. Positive market delta to fire in the trade. 